Hey guys, Peter here from the Tin Man. Today we've got a great video for you. We're going to show you the differences between a catalytic stove and a secondary air stove and what you guys need to know. So for the purposes of this video today, what we're going to use for stoves is the uh, Osborne 3300 on our left and the Blaze King Princess 32 on our right. Our left stove, the Osborne, is a secondary air stove, as we mentioned before, and our, our Blaze King is a catalytic. A lot of people talking about burn times and things, so the differences with these two stoves, I use these two stoves because the fireboxes are almost completely identical in size in the cubic feet. Uh, we have a square footage rating on both of these stoves at about 23, 2400 square feet, respectively. So efficiency-wise, um, the stove on the left, the Osborne, is 0.95 uh, grams per hour. So that's actually the measurement that they used for um, particulate matter rising up uh, into the atmosphere. The Blaze King Princess 32 is one of the most efficient in the world at 0 0.4, 0 0.45, something like that. And uh, it's extremely efficient as well. But there's a, the efficiency-wise, if I were to replace this... Um, Blaze King Princess would say to Blaze King Sirocco. Both of those have the same grams per hour rating. But one has a 30 hour burn time and one has an 8 or 9 or 10 hour burn time. So there's a big difference in what we call the wood burning efficiency. And that's something that's not really tested or not really there's not really any numbers given on that. So it's actually more of a what I'd call a real world test. So it's how long you're actually getting out of the wood that you're burning. So the numbers that we use for the EPA are numbers based on emissions and may not necessarily dictate what the heat output is of these stoves. Okay, so let's dive in here. So the first up is our secondary air stove. So this is our Osborne 3300 again. And if you look in the firebox, you see they're lined with bricks. But if you start glancing up in the top of these stoves, you'll see um, there's pipes. So these tubes here, with these holes in them, these are secondary air tubes. On top of that, there's a baffle. The baffles can be made of different material. It's a non-combustible material. It helps with heat retention. It helps put heat down into the uh, outer front of the door. So. You see there's different rows of these. Um, you'll see different companies have different ways of, of adding secondary air. So companies like um, SBI, which make Osborne, Drolet, Enerzone, uh, a few others. Um, a lot of different companies out there do the same kind of technique. Uh, the shape, the slants of the baffles change, the size of the tubes can change, but generally what happens is in a secondary air stove is secondary air, there's primary air and secondary air. Primary air usually comes in in the bottom somewhere like this in the front. Um, secondary air comes through the top and we get what we call a secondary burn. So as the fire is burning you'll get air, cool air from outside uh, the stove will come in through the firebox and get into the firebox here and as the hot gases are rising they hit the baffle above and they circulate and come towards the front and they make their way across the front and up into the, the flute. So if you go into the top here and look here's the top of our baffle. So you can see you can't see down to the firebox here. What you're seeing is smoking gases rise up the front and go across the top and then come up through your stovepipe. So when they introduce fresh air through those secondary air tubes, it creates a combustion triangle. So we have our fuel, we have our ignition because our fire is burning, and now we have our oxygen being entered into the firebox. And what that does is it causes those tubes to burn, um, or, or look like a barbecue burner, rather. So it's something that, is, these are what all secondary air stoves have some form of this. Some do it better than others, but, mo but most of the time this is generally how secondary air stoves work. So these stoves use a lot more air to produce its efficiency. So the byproduct of this would be burn time. So our burn times can be hindered because it's adding more air to the firebox. So if we switch over to look at something like Blaze King, which Blaze King is the leading catalytic stove on the market, they use a catalyst inside their stove to promote clean burning. So they often use a lot less air. It could be 50 to 70 
percent less air inside the firebox. So when you go inside and look here, we don't see any secondary air tubes. We barely see, so we have a taller firebox because of it. And if you notice, if you look up in here, this is the actual plate in the front. So if I can back up here and show you. So this plate actually comes out. This is a guard. <clears throat> and behind this guard, that's the catalyst. They can come in a metal substrate or they can be a, a ceramic catalyst. There's different versions of this. And that's just like a kind of like a catalytic converter in the car. That's the only place that smoke and gas can pass through. So we don't have uh, any space other than that. Now we do have a bypass for lighting. So if you see right here, we can open this bypass and that allows smoke and gases to rise and go up into the chimney. So right now with this bypass open, you can see directly down inside the firebox. That is not very efficient. In fact, it's probably worse than say, your grandfather's old 45 gallon drum that he used to use in the shit. But when you close that catalyst, because this is here only to allow the smoking gases in the chimney to warm up, so the chimneys will warm up faster, establish quicker draft, and you would shut that down. Catalytic stoves also have a catalyst thermometer. So the catalyst thermometer, basically what this does is this is just a probe that sits in behind the catalyst, and it tells us two things, inactive or active. Once that little red hand rises past that little black mark, it's time to shut our bypass. So you see here, closing our bypass, locking it down. And what it does is it forces all of the smoke and gases to go through that catalyst. So that catalyst starts warming up and starts roughly around 400 degrees and it can heat as high as about 1700 degrees temperature. What fuels it is the smoke and gases rising from the wood. So at this point you can turn your draft down and you can actually uh, establish longer burn times. You don't need the wood to burn. It really can smolder and produce gas. And as long as it's smoldering and producing gas, the gases are what's fueling that catalyst. So those are the two differences between catalytic stoves and secondary air stoves. So there's a lot of misconceptions of you know, one stove could burn longer than the other and all that stuff um, when you're talking about secondary air versus catalytic. Secondary air can't really compare to catalytic. But what secondary air does is secondary air gives you more heat quicker than a stove like a, a catalytic stove like a Blaze King. But a Blaze King can burn longer or catalytic stoves in general can burn longer than that. There's variations of these stoves as well. You can find catalytic stoves or you can find stoves that have um, performance packages that you can put a catalyst in them. But generally speaking, uh, those are different. They're not made or built the same as a stove like, say, a Blaze King, which can burn for longer periods of time. Flame oftentimes is prettier in a, in a secondary air stove. So one of the things that people talk about is I want to be able to see the flame. I want to see, you know, like a fireplace and things like that. Well, well, generally most people would steer more towards a stove like a secondary air stove versus a stove like a catalytic stove that can have little to no flame when it actually is burning efficiently. You can turn it up and, and burn it up sooner and you will get flame, but it doesn't give you the same effect. When you add, add all this air to the firebox, like our secondary air stoves do, it completely changes the appearance of the fire and gives it a more radiant fire and, and it's uh, actually it's quite beautiful to look at. But efficiency wise, when you burn wood, the same load of wood that goes in this Osborne on the left, and if you had the same amount put in the Blaze King on the right, you would see a difference of about 20 extra hours if both are turned down on the low. So say this one, the Osborne is about 10 hours of burn time, the Blaze King is about 30. So there's a big difference in, with the same amount of wood, what you can do with a Blaze King or a catalytic stove. But it doesn't necessarily mean that the secondary air stove on the left is a bad stove. It just burns it differently. You might also see higher temperatures because of it. Because we're adding secondary air to the stove and sometimes we're adding uh, tertiary and quaternary air to the stove as well. And what it's doing is 
it's producing a higher heat. So surface temperatures of the stove can get hotter. So we can see hotter temperatures for shorter periods of time versus lower temperatures in the Blaze King for longer periods of time. It really comes down to what you want to select, what your, what your goal is for the stove. If you're searching for to save, you know, efficiency, uh, to, uh, wood burning efficiency, and not want to burn a whole lot of wood in the run of a year, your Blaze King would probably be a better choice. If your goal is to have a beautiful fire, you're not worried about lighting the fire in the morning, you're probably lighting it a couple times a week, and you don't bother with, you know, having to get up in the morning and put wood in it if you don't care, if you want a stove that burns seven or eight hours long, or a cabin owner, things like that, then secondary air stoves tend to be better choices. I hope this video helps you guys select the uh, proper stove that you're looking for when it comes to uh, these purchases, because stoves aren't getting cheap especially the higher-end ones like you're seeing here.